Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can transfer data from an iPhone over to your new Samsung Galaxy S20 20 Plus or the S20 Ultra. So the first thing is to switch on your phone and uh, begin. So let's tap on this arrow to begin and tap on I have agreed to all of the above and tap on next. And then we need to connect to a Wi-Fi. So tap on the Wi-Fi uh, password. So I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi and tap on connect. So tap on connect. And then tap on next. So at this point it's going to check for updates. So wait for it to um, install any updates. Okay, now we're going to choose copy apps and data. So I'm going to tap on next. And then tap on next. At this point, it will try to update the smart switch. It may take some time, depending on your connection speed and the server speed. So just wait for it to finish the downloads. Now on the next screen, you will see it say backup using cable or wireless. And if you go on wireless, it's only available for Android. You can see here it say wireless only available available for Android. Uh, don't worry about it. You're gonna, you can either choose uh, cables. So if you choose cable, tap on agreed. And with the cable uh, methods, you can use this uh, smart switch device here. Now this come with my older um, Samsung phone uh, from the Galaxy S8. You can also get it from the S9 and S10. But with the S20, there is no adapter with the package. So I don't know. It's showing you how you. you uh, it's showing that you can use this smart switch, but it's not included. So. You, Either you have to use it from your old device if you got one. Otherwise, you can also use this cable. So this cable is from an iPhone that I've got. It's USB-C type to a lightning uh, port. So here is a lightning port that I can plug into an iPhone. And this one here on this end, you can plug into your Galaxy S20 or the 20 Ultra. So if you haven't got the smart switch adapter and if you haven't got the cables don't worry about it I'm going to show you another methods uh, at the end of the videos which is using the iCloud methods that you sign into your iPhone and then uh, on your Samsung you can transfer through your iCloud account so I will do that towards the end of the video so let's assume we're going to use the cables or the smart switch I'm going to plug it into my Galaxy S20 this is the Ultra, and the other one is plugged into the iPhone. This is an iPhone 7. So I'll plug it in already. So here it says couldn't connect. So I'm just going to tap on back, make sure the cable is connected. Everything's connected properly. Just going to reconnect to make sure that um, the port is in good order. And over here, I'm going to reconnect also, just to make sure everything is in good order. So I'll plug it all the way in, and you can see now it's connecting to iPhone or iPad. So if it does not work, make sure you re-plug it really tight. And I'm going to tap on trust button on an iPhone. And over here, back to the S20, tap on next. I'm going to swipe up and say uh, choose what to bring over. So nine selected, and I can uh, bring over calls and contacts. So go down the list and choose what you want to transfer over and tap on the transfer button. And then it say um, for messages, uh, how how long you want to, um, uh, how long in the history you want to bring the data over. So from the last 30 days all the way up to last two years or everything. So I'm going to choose O and then tap on transfer. And now it will try to attempt transfer data from an iPhone over to the new Samsung Galaxy S20, 20 plus or the Ultra, uh, whichever model that you've got. In here, it asks me to um, sign to Google. Uh, I'm going to skip now just to make this video quick. I'm just going to skip for now and skip. You can do that later in settings. So I'm going to tap on more and accept. And then uh, here you can set up your phone with a pin or a password. 
I'm going to choose one, two, three, four. I'll put in the pin again to confirm and tap on the OK button. In here, you can go all the way down and tap on OK. And it's like adding the final finish touch. And here it says get recommended apps. You can tap on the arrow and see what is going to be installed on your device. And then tap on next. And here you can sign into your Samsung account if you wanted to. Or I'm just going to choose skip. And skip. Then tap on finish. So that's it, all your stuff is on board. Now you can disconnect the cables. Because this phone here doesn't have a lot of data on it. Doesn't have a lot of photos doesn't have a lot of apps or it doesn't have a lot of um, messages so the transfer is fairly quick but if you have a lot of data if you have a, over 100 gigs of data then it might take some time so you might have to be patient for the data to bring over so that is finished now so in a before I did promise you to show you how you can do it without uh, the use of adapter and without the use of a cables so let's take a look I'm going to remove the cable now and Disconnect it from my S20. Okay, so if you're on the screen, you want to tap on the back key, back, and then we're just going to go next. On this screen here, tap on don't copy, and then go ahead with the setup process until you get to the home screen. Now, once you get to the home screen, swipe down to go into app screen and type on smart switch. Now in here you want to tap on receive data and here you have the options to choose iPhone or iPad and then you can see you can use cable but because we don't have the cable we're going to choose connect wireless to iCloud and we need to put in the iCloud password and username on this uh, iPhone here so if you go into settings you can see the iCloud username and pass um, the iCloud username and you need to know the password and also in iCloud, make sure that you have backup. So tap on uh, iCloud Drive, uh, iCloud Backup, sorry. And then make sure that it is backup. If you haven't backup, tap on Backup Now, which will backup all the data to iCloud. And from here, you can key in the iCloud username. And then tap on Sign In. So sign to iCloud. Now here on this file, I'm just going to tap on allow, trust it, and I'm going to get the pin. Tap on OK. Now on the next screen, you can choose what you want to bring over. So I've got five selected here, and tap on import. And it's importing your stuff over, and it will calculate how long it will take to transfer the data from your iPhone over to your a new Samsung Galaxy S20. You can see it takes some time, so it's quite slow, but eventually it will bring all the stuff over to your new uh, Samsung Galaxy S20. So that is another way to do it. Uh, sometimes it may fail uh, with the verification process. Just keep trying, keep trying again, and eventually uh, it will be able to connect to the server and works. So here it is. You can see uh, it will take around one hour and ten minutes. So and that's how you can use. Um, the wireless methods uh, by simply connecting to your iPhone, uh, iCloud, and then transfer the data over. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. So, those are the three methods you could use to import data from your Samsung, uh, from your iPhone, over to your uh, S20, S20 Plus, or the S20 Ultra. Thank you.